In this tutorial you will learn how to work with Mixmo. Go to Mixmo.com, sign up for a free account and we will learn how to create animations really easily, have our characters rigged or choose any of the characters from Mixmo and put them into a game engine like Unity or Unreal Engine. I will show you how you can get this character animated into Mixmo. It's a character we created in the previous video. So if you want to see how you can create that, look in the description down below, link should be there. And then let's do this. Coming to Mixmo, you can choose between the characters right here or have them animated in one of these animations. When you look for the search icon, you can type in whatever you look for or choose one of these topics. For example, when you go to characters, you can select any of these. For example, let's choose Luis right here. It is loading right now. You have all the settings right here. And when Luis is loaded, you can toggle between the mesh view or the skeleton view. You can rotate around. You can pan around like this or tweak any of the settings that you would like. Now, you can have her do any of these animations. For example, do the taunt one. Or sitting a laughing one. And you can upload your ca own character or download this one to your game engine. So for this tutorial, I will choose a character of my own and have it animated. So to do that in Blender, we have made this human character very easy one. We created this in a previous video. Link is down in the description if you want to create this one and follow along the tutorial. So select the character right here. File, export, export to FBX, save it. Let's name this low poly human character. We need the selected objects, so I selected this. I only need the mesh for this and the other. We need the geometry to face. We don't need animations because we will get these from Mixamo. And I don't need to add any bones, so this should do. Export to FBX. Now I come back into my Mixamo account from Mixamo.com. Then upload the character, select the character. And then whether I've saved this, I will use the low poly human character before. And this will load into Mixamo right now. Now this will auto rig it for me. So a bunch of work that I have to do in Blender, Mixamo does for me. And when I have enough poly counts, this also works for low poly mostly, but when I have enough poly counts, this should work. So right now, okay, this looks fine. Click next. And then I have to tweak these values. So the chin, so you can also look in the right upper screen right here. I have to put my chin on this chin. So this should work. The wrist on the location of the wrist. By the way, I mirrored my character perfectly, but if you don't, you have to disable symmetry so you can tweak these separately. I leave your symmetry on because I find more easily. Then the elbows on the place where the elbows should go. The knees right here. And of course the groin. Never forget the groin. Okay, this should work just fine. Maybe a bit like this. And then we have them set up. Now we use symmetry. We use the skeleton LOD. You can have different ones, but I use a standard one for this and then hit next. And now the auto rigging is done for me. So just wait a little bit and my character should be moving. Then I get a preview of how it's moving around. And you should see that this just worked perfectly if you lined up these settings just like I did. And here it should come. Okay, let's just pan around a bit. And beautiful, he's already alive and it seems to work from all different sides. Nice. Click next. And right now I have my character right here. And he's already laughing at me. I can test a few settings. Let him, let him die. Yeah, great. <laughs> then uh, any of these settings. And it's pretty fun just to play around with this. Okay, cool. And do some capoeira. Good. Let's say I want this animation downloaded. I can go to download. Then FBX. Now, if you work in Unity, you can also select Unity, but I leave this as is. Now, with the skin. And I leave this as is and hit download. So now this is downloaded to my computer. Now, I will make my character walk around in Unreal Engine. And I will also show you how to do this in Unreal Engine in my next video. So I need certain animations right now with Mixamo. The first one is a good idle animation. So look for idle. And you can choose just one that you would like. 
For idle, I will choose a very simple one, basic one. Now maybe standing a bit still, too much for my taste. Let's have more something like a neutral idle in this. Yeah, I think that's better. Now, you can also tweak these values right here. Just play around with this hit download. This time I choose without skin, because I already have skin enabled in my first one and I don't need to duplicate. So, without skin and these settings are fine. Download. Next, I want them having walking around, so go to walk. Maybe this is a bit too fancy. Just a normal walk. This should be better. Now, I want them in place, because in my game engine he will move around in 3D just because of Unreal Engine does it, and I don't need him to do it twice. Just in place. Now, you can also mirror, or you can also make him run faster or slower, or just reset it back to what it was before. The arm space I usually leave as is, now, because this will give some errors, and this is way too big. Now it's like a Johnny Boy. Okay, just reset this one. This is fine. Then again, downloads. I already had a skin, so it will be applied just fine. And hit download. Now, of course, if we have walking, we also need a running animation. After this download is complete, I'll go here and type in running. So this seems like a good running animation. Keep him in place once again. Fine. Downloads. And again, download to your computer. Next up, we also want him to jump around in our game. So for that, we need jumping. Now, we need three stages of jumping. He needs to jump up, be in the air, and jump down. In Unreal Engine, we have to do this in separate phases. The jumping up and jumping down should be very short. So, for this... Okay, it seems really fast, but it only has seven frames. So, this will be shortly applied. So, we need this one. Download this one. So that's jumping up. Let's do the same for jumping down. Okay, jumping down. So when he lands, he has a very short landing animation. Good, that's what we need. And of course, when he is in the air, he needs to loop a jumping animation or a falling animation. Now, this is too different from my other ones, so I can't use these ones. And maybe this is a cool one when he's in the air. A bit like a Spider-Man right now. And this should be fine. Now you can also tweak these values again. We don't need to keep them in place right here because it's not enabled. So this is just all fine. And download. Now maybe you want some different animations. You can just browse these settings right here. Look through all these animations. And your character will just do that. You can download it as you like. Or you can just switch characters and also have them animate and put in your game. Now like I said before, in next video I will show you how to do all these animations in the game engine and have him running, have him idling, jumping around or doing one of our capoeira moves. Pretty cool, make sure you don't miss that one. Like the video if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see that next video into Unreal Engine. I would say have a nice day.